Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we've had a box show up in the mail today. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. So let's get out to the shop and have a look. All right, folks, let's have a look at what we got. Now, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. This uh, box is from my friends at Guard Pro. Let's see what they got for us. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Not what I was expecting. This is their newly designed camera mount. That looks really good. We have a 32 uh, gigabyte memory card, a solar panel. Now this is different from the last solar panel uh, that we were looking at. This is an SP300. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but we'll have a look. And the last thing in the box. Oh, look at that. This is the uh, Guard Pro E8PWF. So this is a Wi-Fi camera. Another Wi-Fi camera. Oh, that's why the solar panel is a different solar panel. This has got a lithium ion battery pack. And there is the manual for the camera. There's a couple of different ends there for it. There's the antenna for the Wi-Fi. A strap for mounting. And the camera. Wow. That is not what I was expecting. That's pretty exciting. There's the battery pack. Now before we do anything, I'm going to charge that battery pack. When you've got a battery pack like this, it's always best to put a charge into it. Get, get it fully charged before you start using it. Yeah, it just snaps out. That's pretty cool. So, the features of this camera is, it, it is different from all of the other cameras that I have in the fact that it has a, uh, a white light in it. So that is going to give me um, color images even through the night and I'm really curious to see how the wildlife responds to that. So the features of the camera, let's go through this. So we've got a white flash for color night vision, uh, richer colors compared to the no glow light. So I believe that means that it is a visible light. Uh, it has an 8,000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. It has uh, 48 megapixel uh, image capture. I don't use images, but if you do, this thing has got really high resolution image capture. Now it's not a 4K camera. It's a 1296p HD resolution is the best that this camera gets. And if you saw my videos about the uh, E9 camera and my other uh, A3 cameras, you'll see that that resolution is really good. This does give you a really, really clear picture. Not 4K, but boy, it's close to it. It will also record sound like all the other uh, cameras do. It has a very fast trigger. Uh, 0 0.1 second trigger so you don't miss moments so that all sounds really interesting so that that's really cool so let's have a look at what's different with the solar panel so there's the booklet for the solar panel okay there is the difference 
So this solar panel, unlike the, uh, other, the last one we looked at, this solar panel does not have a battery pack in it. This is strictly a solar panel that puts recharging power to the battery pack that's uh, in this, the rechargeable battery pack. And it comes with their usual uh, stand or mounting bracket for the, for the solar panel. Now, as I said the last time, this works fine for the solar panel. I'm happy with that. But I'm really happy to see that they actually were listening to me when we talked about this mounting bracket. Yeah, look at that. This, this is vastly improved. Now, it looks like if you wanted, you could put the camera straight on there or it has this ball joint. Well, it, looks, it looks like that's a stainless steel ball joint. So that just threads on there. Tighten that up to hold it in place. And it's got a thumb screw here that allows you to swivel this around. And this is a nice size, so you can, you can get your fingers on this and actually tighten it up on the camera and then lock it in place. Way to go, Guard Pro. This looks really good. Okay. So we're going to gather up all the wires and stuff. Take the camera inside along with the booklet and we'll do some reading as to how this battery recharges. There's all our cables, there's our memory card, our booklets. Let's head into the studio and have a closer look at what we need to do to get a full charge into this battery. All right, folks, we're in the studio. So I have gone through the manual on the battery and had a look at what it takes to get this charged up. So you can just leave the solar cell to charge it, but I suspect that that would take a really long time. Now, when this comes from the manufacturer, it's hard to say how much charge is actually in it. Uh, in my case, it took about nine hours to charge it. Now, I understand that it can take up to a day and a half to charge it. Now, charging is really very simple. There is a little plug on the side right here. And it comes with the cable for charging it. So all you have to do is plug in the cable and plug it into your computer or something like that to uh, get the charge into it. And there is a little LED light right there. As soon as it gets plugged in, you'll see that light come on and it will more than likely be red. When it turns green, you've got a full charge. Okay, we're all charged, ready to go. Let's put this in the camera and then we're gonna power the camera up and use the app to get it all set up and ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna open the latch. So the battery goes in, you'll see the connection terminals on the bottom of it. So the battery goes in, label out, facing right side up, terminals to the bottom, slip it in at the bottom first, and then snap it in and you're in, that's it. All right, so let's get my cell phone on and then we'll start the process of getting this all set up and ready to go. Okay, battery is in it, so I'm going to switch it to the on position. I'm not gonna hit start, all I've done is turn it on. And the screen has lit up and everything is ready to go. So let's turn the app on and see what happens. Okay, there's the app. I'm gonna turn it on. All right, everything has come up on the app. So I've already got a camera on here. So the E9 is on here. So we're gonna be adding a second camera to the app. 
So you can see right at the top there, there is uh, the Guard Pro E9 is showing up in that box. So we're going to tap on the three red dots that are at the right side of that box. And you can see the uh, connection screen that has now come up. So I'm going to tap on the lower button that says add new camera. And it's asking if it's a Wi-Fi or cellular camera. Now I'm going to select Wi-Fi because that's what this camera is. So you can see there that it has already found the camera very quickly. So I'm going to tap on that and it's adding the camera. Step three, searching for Wi-Fi. Now it's asking me if I want to join. So I'm going to say join. And now we've got the camera has been added successfully. Tap start to get started. So we're going to tap the start button and there it is. You can see up at the top there that the camera name is in green. All the different information about the camera right there. So now we're going to select towards the bottom. We're going to select settings. And you can see all the different settings that have come up in the menu here. So we'll go down through here what we want to do. Camera password, I don't need. Uh, mode will be motion detection. We're not using time lapse. And camera language is English. Uh, photo or video. I want video mode. Uh, video quality. Now I'm going to change the video quality to its maximum, which is 1296p. Video length, I'm going to change to 20 seconds for both day and night. Video sound is off. Video Video format is MP4. Detection delay. Now I like to uh, set this right down to zero seconds. Sensitivity. Now the sensors on these cameras are affected by the weather. Uh, the warmer the weather, the less sensitive the sensors are. When the weather gets cold, you don't really want to have these sensors, at least in this particular camera from what I've seen, you don't want to have the sensor set on high. Every time the grass rustles, it's going to pick it up. So it's set on medium right now, so that's where it's going to stay. Side motion sensors, I want on. Loop record, no, I don't want to do loop record. Operating hours, any time. Uh, date. Default format, month, day, year, 12 hours. Time zone is Eastern, and that's what we want. An important step to do is to make sure you format your uh, SD card. And that's right at the bottom of your options here. So I'm gonna select format. Are you sure you want to format the SD card? I'm going to say OK. Format SD card was successful. So that only took a couple of seconds. Uh, a lot of that is because the SD card's empty. It's a new SD card, so there isn't anything on it. So basically, this camera is now ready to use. So that's really all there is to it. It's very simple. Just go through it step by step. Make sure you've got your battery charged fully before you actually use the camera. And then all you need is a good location and to get it into place. All right, we're going to take this out, get it in place. And come the end of the month, we're going to bring it back in and see how the camera did. I'm really curious to see how the wildlife is going to react to the white light flash that's on this camera. It should be very interesting to see. So if you're interested in looking at the Guard Pro products, have a look in the description below and you'll see my affiliate link there. You can follow that to their web page. 
And during their Black Friday sale, they've given me a special affiliate coupon that you can use right here, and you'll find it also in the description. And that will give you an additional 25% off anything that you purchase on their site during their Black Friday sale. So don't forget to stop by their site, have a look, and take advantage of that coupon discount. All right, folks, that's going to be it for today's video. Tomorrow we're going to go get this camera in place, and I think I'm going to move the A60 as well. I'm not really happy with the amount of activity that's going around that camera. I want to get it into a busier spot. So that'll be a bit of fun out on the trails tomorrow. So if you've been enjoying these videos, please don't forget to give them a thumbs up and share it around, and I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also love to have you subscribe to the channel. That's making a really big difference. We are growing, and I really appreciate that. So thanks very much for watching. Remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.